Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to do the x-ray registry review for your physics and this will be part one. If you all can give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button or leave a comment to let me know if you would like part two. This will help you prepare for your registry in the national board or ART exam. And I am following the ART content specification because I do have my certification through them. Their exam will have about 200 questions. I will highlight it for you at the bottom. But you do have those 30 unscored poly questions that you have to know as well. These are the questions that are not scored. So you do not know which one there is. So that's why you just have to try your best to get most of the questions right. And the big bulk of the test is physics. You have 50 questions for safety, and then you have 51 questions for image production, which is still physics. So after you watch this video, just let me know in the comment box if you want me to do more physics questions, more questions on patient care, procedures, just let me know. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to read the question, the answer choices, and then I like to read the answers. If I'm going too fast, you can pause it or you can rewind it. Um, so here we go. Question one, which interaction occurs when an incoming X-ray photon strikes a loosely bound outer shell electron? Is it Compton interaction, coherent scatter, pair production, or photoelectric interaction. And I'll give you a few seconds and then I'll give you the answer. All right, the correct answer is Compton interaction. Question two. Which interaction occurs when an incident photon interacts with an inner orbital K shell electron? Is it Compton interaction, coherent scatter, pair production, or photoelectric interaction? Okay, just a few more seconds. The correct answer is photoelectric interaction. Question three, which unit of radiation measurement is used to describe the radiation exposure and how radiation is delivered at a specific point? Is it unit of absorbed dose, unit of effective dose, unit of exposure, or unit of radioactivity? Okay, the correct answer is unit of exposure. So the correct answer is unit of exposure. Air karma is a unit of exposure that is used to describe radiation exposure and how radiation is delivered at a specific point. Question four, the annual effective dose limit for occupational exposure is 20 MSV, 30 MSV, 40 MSV or 50 MSV? Right, the correct answer is 50 MSV. Question five, the annual effective dose limit for frequent exposure for the general public is one MSV, two MSV, three MSV, or four MSV. Okay, I'll give you the answer in a few seconds. 
Okay, the correct answer is one MSV. All right, so if you are finding this video helpful, could you please like, share, and subscribe for more videos? Question six, which interaction is produced at photon energies that are greater than 1.02 million electron volts? Is it Compton interaction, coherent scatter, pair production, or photoelectric interaction? Okay, the correct answer is pair production. Question seven, which interaction is produced by low energy X-ray photons? Compton interaction, coherent scatter, pair production, or photoelectric interaction? Okay, the correct answer is coherent scatter. So coherent scatter is also known as classical scatter. These interactions are produced by low energy X-ray photons. Question eight, the annual equivalent dose limit for the lens of the eye for occupational exposure is 100 MSV, 125 MSV, 150 MSV or 175 MSV? Okay, the correct answer is 150 MSV. Question nine. The energy or quality of the X-rays that are produced or controlled by KVP, filtration, grids, or mass. Just a few more seconds. I give you the answer. All right. The correct answer is KVP. Question 10, the number of electrons that are passing from cathode to anode in the X-ray tube is controlled by KVP, filtration, grids, or mass. Okay, the correct answer is mass. Question 11, what occurs to the wavelength once the KVP decreases? The wavelength decreases, the wavelength increases, the wavelength decreases by one half, the wavelength does not change. Right, just a few more seconds. The correct answer is the wavelength increases. So once the KVP is decreased, the wavelength increases, which make the X-rays become less penetrating. Question 12, what occurs to the KVP once the wavelength decreases? The KVP decreases. The KVP increases. The KVP decreases by one half. The KVP does not change. All right, just a few more seconds. The correct answer is the KVP increases. So once the KVP is increased, the wavelength decreases, which make the X-rays become more penetrating. Question 13, 
Question 13, a geometric misrepresentation of an anatomic structure on an image receptor is called contrast, distortion, noise, or pixel. Okay, just a few seconds. The correct answer is distortion. Question 14, what is the purpose of grids in diagnostic radiology? To increase the amount of scatter radiation that reaches the image receptor, to decrease the amount of scatter radiation that reaches the image receptor, to decrease radiation dose to patients, or to increase the X-ray beam that reaches the image receptor. All right, the correct answer is to decrease the amount of scatter radiation that reaches the image receptor. And if I'm going too fast, um, you can just pause the video or just rewind it. Question 15, the use of grids in diagnostic radiology affect the image contrast, patient motion, SID, or spatial resolution. Okay, the correct answer is image contrast. Question 16, the image in plate in diagnostic radiology is made out of aluminum, copper, nickel, or a photostimulable phosphor. All right, just a few more seconds. The correct answer is photostimulable phosphor. Question 17. The KVP must be accurate to within plus or minus. Is it 2%, 3%, 4%, or 5%? All right, the correct answer is 5%. Question 18, the collimator light field should be within blank percent of the radiation field alignment. Is it 1%, 2%, 3%, or 4%? All right, the correct answer is 2%. Question 19, which percentage of electrons energy is converted to x-rays? 1%, 2%, 3%, or 4%? All right, the correct answer is 1%. So less than 1% of electrons energy is converted to x-rays. Question 20, the number of protons plus the number of neutrons is called atomic mass, electron, isotopes, or photon. Okay, the correct answer is atomic mass. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, could you please give it a thumbs up? Hit the subscribe button. Comment below if you want me to do like a part two to this. Also, let me know if the questions was 
Um, if the amount of questions that I had was good enough, would you like more questions? Um, right now, this video had 20 questions, so just let me know if you like 20 questions, if you want me to do 30 questions, 50 questions. Um, how how long would you are you willing to watch the video for pretty much and then if the video is too long you can always pause it write down the question you stopped at and just come back and watch it but other than that thank you all for watching and i hope to see you all in the next video bye